Pope Francis is calling a meeting of bishops from around the world to discuss how to stop priest sex abuse and protect children. The meeting would be the first of its kind and aims to illustrate the global nature of this problem. News of the summit comes the same day German media reported more than 1,600 priests abused more than 3,600 minors in the country between 1946 and 2014. CBS News foreign correspondent Seth Doan reports. Pope Francis has reflected deeply on the clerical sex abuse issue, the Vatican says, prompting that global call for about 130 bishops to travel to the Vatican this February. Haven't we heard some of this before? Let's have a meeting to discuss the problem, but then here we have a, another problem. Well, we haven't stamped out the evil. The church has not stamped out this terrible evil, and we are dealing with the mere lip service of much of the hierarchy. That's the Monsignor Anthony Figueredo notes this comes on the, the eve of the Pope's meeting with U.S. Cardinals Daniel DiNardo and Sean O'Malley, the top papal advisor on sex abuse. DiNardo, the head of U.S. bishops, is calling for a full investigation into disgraced former Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, who resigned this summer after a credible accusation he'd abused a minor. He rose to the top of the church despite a flurry of allegations of sexual misconduct. DiNardo has said it's important for outsiders to be involved in these investigations. The bishop in his diocese is the authority. Who does he report to? Who holds him accountable? That's what's got to be dealt with. Unless there is that outside authority, lay leadership, nothing will change. The U.S. Catholic Church is under renewed scrutiny following that Pennsylvania grand jury report that found 300 predator priests. Cardinal Donald Worrell was in charge of the Pittsburgh Diocese for nearly two decades and is accused of covering up some of the cases there. He is expected to be the next cardinal to resign. Tanya? Seth Doan, thank you.